Welcome to the 2017-2018 version of the Stolly Hustle Award Show. My name's Andy Lynch, along with Jared Stolly from Stolly Insurance. Here we go again. It's been a great fall and winter season, and we're back to recognize some great athletes. I love it. I love it. It's, uh, it's been a really fun year from the football and basketball season of, of last year, and uh, some great athletes coming through this area. Pretty blessed to have you guys follow them around and, and connecting the whole community to, to those sports. We certainly love to do it in so many of our games. We gave out a Stolly Hustle Award after the game. They got a t-shirt and some getting a plaque as well as our announcers voted on the top five football players as far as hustle goes and the top five basketball players as far as hustle goes as well. We'll unveil those to you with that word hustle is now synonymous with Stolly. Yeah, I love it. We, we really appreciate that. And it's funny, I don't think I've told you yet, but I think this is the 30th year. Wow. Of the Sally Award, Hustle Award, uh, 1988 was the, the starting year for that. So okay. pretty exciting to be along with that. Um, and then the word hustle, you're right, Andy, it does uh, coincide with our business mm -hmm. because it, it is all about the hustle and the effort. And it's not just doing, it's not scoring, it's not, and that helps. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does help. <laughs> um, but, but doing the things that, that maybe won't get recognized by the stats or the paper the next day, it's, it's about doing the things that help your teammates, help your coaches to get that win. So here are five football winners of the Stolly Hustle Award voted on by our announcers as they won awards during the year. And here's their definitions of hustle as well. John Dirksen, Marion Local. Well, and you're going to see Matt Rethman. He averages about four and a half yards a carry. Just gets outside, uses some speed, gets that corner. Nice job by the uh, offensive line to seal that edge for him. Yeah, and just a power play up the middle. we got to give credit to those big linemen up front. Uh, you see on the uh, split end, Nick Tangeman, Derek Ruinkamp, the flanker, tight end Tyler Mesher, the big boys in the middle, John Dirksen, Lucas Bertke, Thomas Ungren, Derek Wilker, and Adam Frank. Those are the guys that are providing the way for uh, for these running backs to pick up the yards they need. So Dirksen had a nice backside block to really free him. Here we go on first and goal. This is Habedaz to the three. And you're going to see here Bruns just dialed in, throws an absolutely pinpoint accurate football, nice spiral, put it right where it had to be, and uh, Tangema does the rest. Unless you consider Broering a running back, he's a pretty good runner. Looks left, couldn't find anybody, and there in the backfield, is the guy we mentioned on offense. Now he's doing it on defense. Dirksen! 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 Stolly Hustle Award winner. What's that mean to you? Uh, it's really sweet. Uh, I'm really honored to have it. It means a lot to them, I guess. But yeah. What does hustle mean to you on the line? Uh, it pretty much means giving it your all, uh, busting your butt every play, and you got to expect that from yourself if you want to be good, I guess. What about in the off season? How do you hustle getting ready for the season? Uh, when you're in the off season, it's definitely harder to convince yourself to, you know, work out as hard as you do in season. But it's if you do push yourself every day 100%, then it does pay off. State championship, I'm sure, is a big memory. Are there other memories from the season? Uh, these guys right here that are chanting. Uh, they're my teammates and my friends. I grew up with them, and it was a great, great experience for me. Already getting ready for Notre Dame. You got their workouts and stuff. Yeah, they're not they're not very easy. But I'm in, I'm in track right now, so I'm getting running and stuff done with that. But yeah, they sent me some stuff, and it's yeah, it's different. Discus or shot put? What do you prefer? I'm better at disc. I like disc better. Austin May, Liberty Benton. Now May will go back to the shotgun. He's under center the last two plays. May rolls out to his right. He's going to pass it into the end zone and caught. Touchdown. That time, number six, Will Poling underneath. Able to haul that one in for the second score of the night for Liberty Benton. The last time when they had the ball um, on the Arlington 22nd. May throwing it deep for Greer. Greer, nice catch, and he's got space to go. If he can outrun the defense, he scores, and he does. A huge touchdown play for Liberty Benton. Man comes in motion. May back to pass. Let's it fly. A fingertip catch, and he will go all the way. The touchdown. Everything to me, I mean, it all started with the summer, just hustle with the summer workouts and other guys competing with me and just push me and then into the season and just hustle every game. And that's how you win games, hustle and heart to win our football games. And that's how we got to the state final four. 
Yeah, talk about your season. What are some of the memories as you think back to the fall? Well, it all started out with week one with Winford. That was a big win. And then the loss to Lipstick really helped us. It kind of put us back to reality and how we weren't that good yet. And then ever since that loss to Lipstick, we just kept fighting and then got to Marion Loco. And they're a great team. They beat us, but it was a good run. How about the playoffs? What was that like each week preparing for a new team? Yeah, it was fun because freshman year was the last time we made the playoffs. And sophomore and junior year was tough not making it. It just felt great to get back to the playoffs and get a few wins. Is there a special moment you'll always remember from your senior season? Probably uh, just win the regional finals against Hillsdale. That was a big win. And just to get to state final four and get to play Marion Local was a fun opportunity. I saw on your Twitter, High Five Fridays. Some of the elementary school kids came here. What, yeah. what did that all entail? That was really fun because a lot of them knew me and they were just saying like, hey, Austin, it was fun to be that role model to the little kids and they have somebody to look up to and I try to be a great role model to them. University of Finley's next. Uh, why'd you choose the Oilers? Uh, just Coach Keese. I loved him. Uh, he really showed a lot of interest in me high school with recruiting me and just staying close to home and Finley was a great pick. I just love the coaching staff and hopefully we can have a big year this incoming freshman class. Have you grown up as an Oiler fan going to games and stuff? Yeah, when I was little I always went to the Croy Center to watch them in basketball and now with Anthony playing there I usually try to go to every home game but always been an Oiler. Will you live on campus or uh, living at home? Yep, I think I'm going to live in a dorm there and I think I'm going to room with a local Van Buren kid so it would be pretty fun. You can live with the Van Buren kid, that's okay? Yeah, I think so. We'll see how it goes though. <laughs> Will Homan, Fort Recovery. High snap handoff is uh -oh. to Will Holman, and he's breaking it in the open, and he is gone. Fort Recovery will take a 6-3 to three lead. One play, 65 yards, and the Indians in lightning mode take the lead. And again is Smiths. He'll hand the football off to Holman. He breaks a tackle, breaks another, breaks another, and he's oh gone my. again. He might be, but he may get caught from behind. And he is still going. Did he go out of bounds or not? No, they, they, Official says. They never called it. No. That's a touchdown right there. Wow. And that one will go for Fort Recovery. And he would break not one, not two, not three, but four. And then a fifth one down the sideline. And for the Fort Recovery Indians, that one is 75 yards and a touchdown. I mean, we got the job done, I guess. I mean, you work hard every play and hope to help your team win. Take us through your senior season. What was it like for you? I mean, it was fun because, I mean, I was with my buddies and we were just having the time of our life on the football field. And we, we didn't finish where we wanted to, but I mean, we made the playoffs for the fourth straight year. And for Fort Recovery, four years straight in the playoffs was an amazing accomplishment. And hopefully they can keep it going next year. You gotta be a part of that turnaround because for years, you know what Fort Recovery football was. I mean, what well, pretty special to you? Yeah, it was awesome because I mean, when I grew up, we we watched losing season after losing season, and then my freshman year, we had a different group of guys come in, and they kind of brought the winning culture, and we kept it going, and hopefully it carries on. So working out for college football right now? Have you have you started that for St. Francis? Uh, I haven't started for them, but I'm continuing to lifting just with the school, and then come June, I'll start to lift with them. What's it mean to be a part of a, a national power? I mean, it's awesome to go in and know that they're winning too. I mean, hopefully I can contribute and keep winning. <laughs> what is it about the program that made you want to go to St. Francis? Well, I'm going into nursing and that was the number one thing. I needed to find a school that let me do nursing and football and that was one thing they allowed and they have a really good nursing school and then I liked all their coaches and it just felt like a good vibe on campus. Pretty close by to home, did that have a factor? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, at one hour, that's staring back two hours round trip, that was really nice. I can come home on any night if I need to, and I just thought that was nice. Chris Picker, Spencerville. The give to Picker, and he powers his way in. It is Spencerville, 13, Crestview, 7. And breaking it open again to the house. If the standings hold the way they are. Pinker to the outside and high steps into the end zone. Touchdown number three for Chris Picker. Hustle means to me is uh, hard work and dedication, always doing the right thing and um, making sure that you're there on time and doing all the work that's required of you. Do you have a favorite game this year or for your career for Spencerville? Uh, the Delphus Jefferson game because that was the first time we beat them since 2007 and it was very important to me. 
getting to the playoffs a couple years. How uh, special was that for you? It was special to make school history by making the playoffs because it, um, it was just something that school doesn't really do that much, and to do it all four years was something special. Future plans? Uh, my future plans is to go to Ohio Northern and major in mechanical engineering. Oh, wow. What kind of uh, job do you want out of that down the road? Do you, you know? Um, I'm looking to probably go into manufacturing or robotics with mechanical engineering. Jared Hillsman, Minster. Hillsman fakes it, going to pop it over the middle. Got his big tight end, touchdown. Ball on the 14-yard line. And Hills is going to look to pass across the middle and into the end zone for a touchdown. Alex Slimkul from 14 yards out to salt this one away for the Wildcats. Breaks that streak and they're looking for six more here. Heelsman flag comes out as Heelsman gets around the 10 and takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. You know, about the one yard line. And Heelsman going to try and put it in and does. Dives for the end zone and puts it in for six. Touchdown Wildcats. You know, it's definitely like something I pride myself on, just always trying to do everything I can, never like settling, doing as much as I can for my team because I know it'll help. And I just really don't like, I try not to stop. I just try to keep going no matter what the situation is. What a special year for you guys as a school with all the state championships, football in particular. Uh, what was that like for you? You know, it's great just to see everyone come together. The support around here is absolutely amazing. That's. I feel like that's a big reason why there's so much success is because we have so much good support around us. Now Coach Wiss back to baseball. How's, how's baseball workouts been uh, before he was there and now that he's back? You know, it's definitely different having him around. You hear more like verbiage and like we say different terms, I guess, but it's still kind of the same thing. We The assistant coaches do a great job of like ingraining the same stuff that Coach Wiss does, but it's great to have him back. What are your expectations for baseball this year? You know, just to have another great season. I'm not going to say, like, see how far we can make. We just want to go as far as we can and do as best as we can, come together as a team. What's it been like, uh, your, your high school career, these seniors? Uh, what are you going to remember 10 years from now when you're at a wedding? I'm, the thing I'm going to remember most is just all my teammates and all my friends, all the memories and relationships. That's something that you can never forget, and that's what I'm most proud of that, like, we created throughout my four years of high school. What's next for you after you get that, that graduation certificate? Going to the University of Toledo, studying civil engineering, and just being a student. Will that be weird, just being a student? That's going to be di completely different, turning from a three-sport athlete to just being a student, but I feel like I'll like it. That's our all stolly football team. Up next, we unveil five basketball players that hustled all over the court on our 2017-2018 Stolly Hustle Award Show here on WSN. now into basketball and that's where this all started 30 years ago giving that's a hustle right. warden basketball that's right that's right and that's where it all started and um it's such a basketball oriented community yeah. it's great it's ever all the fans are very into it and the and you can see the players really working their tails off for the fans around here it's pretty special here are five all stolly hustle award winners on the hardwood jay kaufman ottawa glandorf Kaufman heads inside, left-handed shot, goes up and scores off last. Well, that was not easy. He pivoted back into a second defender and was still strong enough to get it through arms. The only hope OG had was to foul him as you see Kaufman right there take it up strong. And second opportunity goes down for Kaufman. And working Kaufman inside. Nice spin move getting around place. Hustle to me kind of means just playing as hard as you can every single play and every time, every single time you're out on the court. Um, we, I tried to do that every time I was out there this season because with my situation, I guess, I know that I can't take it for granted and that you might not, every, any play could be your last play, so you got to play like it could be your last play, so you got to play as hard as you can. And all state honors, you know, not being able to play the whole season, what did that mean to you? Uh, it was definitely a nice little reward. Um, individual re rewards like that are nice, but the team awards, such as winning the WBL and stuff like that, mean a lot more to me. What will you remember about your senior year here at OG? Um, I will remember definitely winning the WBL, being district champs, and just playing together with a great group of guys that I still look to be friends with off the court for the rest of my life. Playing on this floor, I mean, it's such a unique environment. Uh, you know, did, did you think about that before games? We get to play at the Supreme Court. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely didn't take that for granted. It's 
one of the best atmosphere. It's the best atmosphere I've ever played in here at home. Uh, our fans are great. They're, whether it was a home or away or neutral court game this year, I don't think there was a game where we didn't have the most fans at a game, so that's pretty cool. 10 years from now when you're at weddings and stuff with your friends, what do you think you guys will talk about from this season? Uh, We'll probably talk about just all the good memories we made on and off the court, you know. Um, probably talk about how we scored a lot of points. You know, we got up and down the court with our press and everything. Probably talk about that. Owen Heagle, Ottawa Glandorf. Final seconds, OG will get a chance. Heagle throws it up and hits it at the buzzer. Heagle starts the dribble. Down to five, gonna take it all the way himself and puts it up and in. OG's done a nice job of really getting on Van Wert and making sure that they had to work for everything they had. Eagle penetrates inside and able to get the two. But these uh, half court sets, as you alluded to, just have not worked. And Eagle right back the other way. Just playing every play like it's the last and showing a lot of hustle and uh, just giving every play like it's 110%. What was that season like for you? Uh, it, was, it was the best. I mean, playing with that team and the coaches and this community and the fans, they're there every game, even away games there. I mean, it was just a great environment. What was practice like? You guys went so deep during the games. I mean, it must have been competitive. Oh, yeah, practice. I mean, our JV team's always really solid. We got a lot of people that will get after it. Memories from this season. There are one or two that stick out for you. Uh, definitely winning the WBL and just the seniors that really like them. A yeah, big group. What, what, what will you take from them next year as you become a senior leader? Uh, their leadership and just showing us how to do the, everything the right way. Justin Arntz, Versailles. On that possession, here's the inbounds. Justin Arntz, his runner is good. Justin's first two of the night. Good job of moving the ball around. Justin Arntz comes away with the steal at the top of the key, and he's going to slam it in to start the contest again. He, he won't back down from his challenge of having to guard Justin Arntz. That is a tough shot, great defense, but even a better shot by Justin Arns. Maybe another simplified flooring hardwood yeah. play of the game, at least the nominee. Here might be coming another one. That was a beauty. The two-hand slam in nonchalant fashion. Just getting after it. Um, it's what we do here for sales. I feel like uh, it's pretty, uh, it's something here uh, that everybody does. I feel like, you know, in practice, everybody's always hustling, you know, giving their best effort. And I feel like that's how everybody here has become so good at what they do. Um, we push each other to become better and um, it's something we, Doing practice a lot. Senior season, lots of highlights, lots of memories. I'm sure there's one stick out for you. Um, no, you know, not really. We didn't really finish the season how I wanted to. Um, kind of disappointing, but it was still really fun. Uh, me and my teammates got along really well. It was a, it was a fun season. And had a lot of big wins, a couple of bad losses, but we learned from a lot and did what we did the best we could. How about uh, becoming the max all-time leading scorer? A pretty special night that night. Oh uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, you know, obviously having Kyle Gill there to give me the ball and you know breaking the school record too. Um, it, was, it was a pretty great honor. Um, it's not something, I mean, it was something like I was looking forward to, but it's not something I'm just going to sit here and dwell on or be happy about just with that. You know, I'm going to keep going and uh, become the best I can be. Buckeyes are next. Uh, what are you looking forward to about going to Ohio State? Um, you know, I'm really just excited, you know, to contribute right away. Coach expects uh, us four freshmen to come in and um, be a big part of the team as soon as possible. So we're taking our Spain trip this summer to go play against the professional teams over there. So that'll be fun. I'm, I'm looking to having a lot of fun with the team, uh, getting along with them, um, and just having fun out there. In this day and age, you probably know those freshmen pretty well before you've even set foot on, on campus. Yeah, you know, we're in touch all the time. You know, every day we're always texting and you know, Snapchatting. Uh, uh, they're really cool. We get along really well, and it's going to be fun. What's your brother say about Big Ten basketball? Is he kind of preparing you? Uh, yeah, he's trying. He said you can't really prepare for it. Um, it's a big leap, definitely from high school to college, especially Big Ten. So I'm excited for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to see what it's like and test the waters. Grow up an Ohio State fan, has that always been a dream? Uh, yeah, you know, it's something that's been in the back of my mind since I was a kid. Um, to be honest, a couple years ago, I don't know why, but I just never really like had like a good eye on them. But you know, it's always been that dream school in the back of my head. You know, every Ohio kid grows up wanting to go there. You know, obviously with LeBron being a sponsor, everything Ohio, Ohio against the world, all those slogans. Um, so it's really cool, it's a dream come true. What was that like when you decommitted, you know, kind of looked around again, and what made you come back? Um, you know, I just had to take a couple steps back uh, with Coach Mata and his staff leaving. I knew a whole staff was coming in. I didn't know who it was, so I was taking a step back. Um, obviously, if it was someone that I didn't like, I didn't want to be in that situation. So I took a step back, decommitted. And then right when Coach Holman got the job, they started talking to me again because they were at Butler where they recruited me before. Uh, then they offered me, and it was just cool. School, it's always been in my mind, so I took it. 
Tyler Schlarman, St. Henry. Sends a pass outside. Schlarman now dishes off underneath. It's Devin Hills camp near the left block, puts it off the glass and in. But it's Caden Neekamp with the basketball. Sends it out to Schlarman. Wow. He banks a three-pointer off the glass and in. And that will do it for the first quarter of play. In the paint, spins around a double team. Put it off the glass, no good. Schlarman with the offensive put back and the basket. The way Ryan Lutmer can't adjust. Schlarman keeps it alive and he goes up strong. It's two nice plays in a row by Schlarman. First on the defensive end, he's able to stay in front of his man and absorb some contact. And then on the other end, the great rebound and able to power that up. You'll see that a lot from Schlarman. He does a lot, he's strong. He can take some outside shots as you saw earlier. So don't be surprised to see him very active on both ends of the ball. To me, it means doing anything you can to help your teammates win the game. If it means diving on the ground or uh, falling into the bleachers to get a ball. That's pretty much what it means, just doing all the little things to help your team win games. When you're saying those things, are you thinking about moments this season when you did those things? Yep, <laughs> I can remember one uh, Walpock, at Walpock playing in a tournament game. I dove into the student section and I don't know, just that's what it reminds me of is all the times that you dive on the ground to get balls and uh, hustle and get your uh, team to win games. What are some of the memories uh, you'll look back on this year, 10, 15 years from now, when you're at weddings with your friends? Uh, I'd say beating Verzales. Verzales is a big one, uh, very emotional game. And then obviously the cool water, marrying Heartbreaker. That one, that one wasn't good, but yeah, all of them three games, I think, are my top three games. Three sports, you're into baseball season now. Do you have a favorite, or is it just based on what season you're in? Uh, I'd say my favorite sport would be football. Okay just because I like the contact and the, like, every every play you have to move around. So it just keeps you focused. And then, like, I don't know, just to me, you just, you're just so active, you're into the game, and but that's what I like about it. Being a part of a school like St. Henry, where all, the programs are all successful, what's that like? I mean, it's a, it's a lot of pressure. You, you got to, you have a winning tradition, you want to keep that up. So I think we're going to. We did that this year, and I think the younger guys below us will continue that tradition. Daniel Unruh, Elida. Unruh fiddling with the three throw line, comes inside up and in. Elida just keeps on playing. That's a tribute to their coach and their veteran leadership. Unruh steps back, hits that three. We knew it was only a matter of time. Unruh leading the charge. Cuts to the outside and goes inside. Hustle is what you start every game with and try to finish with. It's a it's a really uh, kind of a locker room word. I mean, we use it before, middle, after games. It's what we try to use in every aspect of the game. Obviously, you're close to a lot of your senior teammates. Just uh, what did it mean to play basketball with them over these years? It means a lot. We grew up playing it with each other, and we just do a lot of stuff outside of basketball with each other. And it's really been special, a group of guys. Um, just all of them, they're like brothers to me. Over your career, what memories are you going to take with you and uh, think back on over the next few years? I'm definitely going to remember the regional final run from a season ago and just every game with my guys. It's just been a lot of fun. And the coaches, Coach Thompson and Matt Smith and Steve Smith, they just made it a lot of fun. Playing at the field house, you know, what, what did that mean to you? A special place to start the season and obviously throughout the year too. Yeah, for sure. The field house is a great place to play. I'm really fortunate to be able to play there for my home games. And I'm just kind of sad it's coming to an end so fast. Going to continue basketball though at Ohio Northern. Just what went into that choice to be a polar bear? Um, at the end of the day, it's about getting the best education. And I feel like I'm going to get the best education at Ohio Northern. And on top of that, I've feel like it's a great fit for the team and as a coaching staff too. What do you have to do to get ready for ONU? I definitely got to put some more weight on, uh, really focus and get my shot where it needs to be for to be able to get minutes in at the college level. So 10 high school athletes taking home plaques as all Stolly Hustle Award winners. Jared, thanks once again for presenting this award with us. Yeah, we really appreciate the partnership with WTOW, WSN. We appreciate it as well. Still spring sports to come, so enjoy those here on WSN.